Hey guys, right, so we're going to be talking about a calorie deficit and the various, some of the ways that you can put yourself in a calorie deficit because what happens a lot of the time is, you know, people start thinking about, you know, calorie deficit, this word, and what they what they connotate that to, connotate, is that the word I want to use? Well, I don't know. What they relate that to, look at me trying to use big words and shit. What they relate that to is, you know, eating less food, eating less food, and they start to restrict themselves, okay, again and again and again. However, what that's going to set you up for is being in a shitty mood, uh, probably a lack of energy, right, and just all in all being kind of a shit person right i want to tell you and explain to you that restricting your food is not the only way for you to become for you to get into even a calorie deficit there are various ways now i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you some ways some ways would be activity instead of restricting your food right easiest way to to um getting a calorie deficit is to increase your physical activity throughout the day that might be as simple as if you work in an office building and you use the elevator about or lift whatever you want to call it you use that about i don't know eight times a day right and instead of doing that you go up and down a flight of stairs a couple flights of stairs eight times a day then all of a sudden you've now increased your physical activity when we talk about physical activity we're not necessarily talking about going to the gym just everyday life you know example instead of you taking the bus to the station wake up a little bit earlier and walk to the station you've now increased your physical activity right which means that your body is burning more calories you're increasing that demand and you're eating the same okay Another way is to, let me see, let me see, let me see, increase your protein, right? Now, I'm going to do, I'm going to do a video on this, but there is what's called a thermic effect of food. Now, when you ingest food, your body has to use, utilize energy in order to digest it. Now, Again, I'm going to do an actual video on this and I'll research before I put it out there, but I'm going off the top of my head. I'm, going to, I'm not even going to throw numbers out. I'm just going to make it very basic. Um, fat. So we're focusing on macronutrients. Carbs, fats. Ha! Protein, carbs and fats. Um, carbs and fats are fuels. Uh, protein, good for the repair and etc. Right? So if you focus on fat, fat utilizes almost nothing for energy because your body loves it it's a ready source of fuel sucks it up right perfect carbohydrates carbohydrates uh does have a little bit of a thermic effect of food right um which means that uh, energy and calories are utilized to digest that however not as much and then protein protein has the highest thermic effect of food right so just by eating protein you're burning a x amount of calories to digest that protein to break that down into amino acids etc etc so by increasing the amount of protein that you're eating decreasing the other two which are energy sources that is going to put you in a calorie deficit because your body is having to work harder um so there you go guys that's like two ways two ways of being in a calorie deficit without having to restrict your food okay restricting your food is not the only thing uh you can do and i don't advise it you know we want to do we have so many tools available for us right in order to change our body composition that why would you go to the most drastic one which is cutting food cutting food should be the last step that you do okay increase the physical activity which is the demand on the body In increase you know mess around with the macro see where that's taking you then we start to cut food but up to that point you know we can great we can do a lot of progress by keeping your food quite high 
and um, doing the other two. So there we go, guys. Um, please like, share, subscribe, comment in the comment section, and let me know your thoughts. And as always, train hard, keep it live, and get that. Dutty pump.